Hey folks, another quick update on the Polaris 850 SP Sportsman. Uh, the rims and tires, of course, are working great. The clutch works great. The shifter is still sticky, like seems every Polaris ATV, which really gets highlighted when you take into consideration the addition to the front that I put on in the fall, which is a Kimpex click and go plow. And I can't say enough good things about this plow. Works great. Um, it uh, it really really does a great job of plowing. Our uh, our driveway here at the house is I don't know two three hundred yards long, and uh, I don't think I'd want a driveway much shorter with it. It works really really well. The uh, it's manual to shift from left to right, but not too big of a deal. You push it down with your foot, and the plow turns. The, uh, the second, that one there, is to drop the plow off of the ATV. You just disconnect the winch from the, the winch line rather, from the plow. I put on the heavier fair lead and then my winch rope has the uh, covering on it, which I find helps quite a bit. One of the big decisions for me was uh, not wanting many remnants on the ATV after when you take the plow off in the spring or over the winter, whatever you do. So you press that pedal at the front that I showed you before, which opens the clasp up and drops the whole plow off. And all that's left is this little round bar and this part portion back here. So there's nothing hanging down, there's nothing in your way. The plow's on and off your four-wheeler in 30 seconds, which is an incredible achievement when you consider how they used to be with bolts and nuts and this thing's just fantastic. So I've held off on a plow for my ATV for quite a while. The, uh, the winch. Yeah, I had to change the, the button from the factory one because the factory one isn't covered. Hit it, burned the rope off my ATV, blah, -de blah, -de blah. So up, down. It really does work great. The, um, I can't I can't stress a plow enough if you have the right driveway for it. Again, it's no good if your driveway's short. It's just too big, unwieldy. I mean, I guess you could push everything up to your house if you wanted, but it's it's too much of a of a pain on a short driveway. That's about it. That's the update. Uh, machine's still working great. Like, again, the, the clutch is fantastic. The uh, high lifter clutch, the rims and tires have been great. They're like any ATV tire in the in the snow. These ones grip exceptionally well in snow and deep pack and the only thing like every ATV tires, ice is clearly their, uh, their issue, just small contact patch. You could put, I guess, snow tires on if you're going to be on the ice a lot, but I'm not on the ice a ton. The shifter, again, the, the stickiness of shifting, of course, I'm going to do it now and it's going to shift like a million bucks. But it, uh, the, the stickiness of the shifter really highlights when you're, um, plowing snow with it, but. Yeah, I happen to have it in the shop here and, and charging up the battery a little bit and thought I'd do a quick update video. Again, I should have done it months ago when I first put it on at the beginning of the winter, but there you go. 2017 Polaris Sportsman 850 SP with a Kimpex click and go plow. Buy one.